we okay. are going to Bob Lowe Island. Il Bois Blanc. Bob Lowe Island. Il Bois Blanc. See what they did there? They bastardized the French language. There mm -hmm. is an abandoned theme park. We're going to check it out. It is on the list of 39 bucket list thingies to do in Ontario. All right, they're letting us on. Let's get this filmed. James was insistent that the ferry we took was the new ferry and that there was an older ferry mm -hmm. we think we might have found where the original the, ferry the OG the, o the o OF the OF OF let's check this out what I find so cool about places like this I mean, you can walk into a forest and it kind of looks the same, but knowing that there was once like tons of people here and this was hustling yeah. and bustling and it's just completely overgrown. Like you can see remnants sort of. In but places, yeah. Yeah, but nature has completely <laughs> taken over. And I think that's what I find so fascinating yeah. about a place like this. Walking yeah. Dead wasn't so far off. This was the amusement park to come to before Cedar Point and stuff was up and running, right? Huh. And everybody just went to Cedar Point and then Canada's Wonderland and stuff like that. It looks like it was an observation tower and that thing would climb all the way to the top. Should be a pretty cool view. Ooh, there's a big butt bee. Did yeah. you see that? That was like a hawk or an eagle or something, man. That was huge. Are they circling us for a reason? What are we looking at? Oh, right here. This is my where my house used to be. The one that I grew, up, one of the houses I grew up in. What are we looking at here? <laughs> this is this is where my old school was. Saint Jean the Baptiste School. Right here. Church is still there. Church is still there. What what place are we looking at? So this was like an old pool hall slash like. Uh, five pin bowling places that I used to come when I was a kid. A really seedy kind of place, but I learned how to play pool and like five pin bowling. And, and it's now. This is the high school I went to for the first high school bit. Apparently it just closed last year. So another thing bites the dust. Well, we're back home now. Uh, yes. We visited a whole bunch of stuff in your childhood. Yes. It's all gone. It's all gone. All, all of them are the Duns, the Dunzos. Everything was different, <laughs> or not even there. It's a bit odd, it's a bit surreal. As a kid, you think everything is gonna be there forever. So going back, you go back with a child's eye, and then you kind of realize that, you know, nothing, nothing like that is a permanent thing, so. The way you phrased it, a child's eye, it's so true, because why, how can you expect that you can go back to a place after 30 years and it's n and nothing's changed, it's all gonna be there. But it'll be interesting when we start really doing some far traveling and more long-term traveling to come back to Hamilton and see how much more it's changed. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you feel this way about it, still like it. No. If you have questions, leave a comment. And if you think somebody else would be interested in, in this kind of content in the show, please feel free to share. Share. If you are on Facebook or Instagram, we are on there as well. So just go on there and search for Can Van Living and yeah. you will find us. Yeah. Oh, we gotta do a van tip. 
So every episode, at the end of the episode, we're gonna be doing a van tip. Laundry can be a bit of a pain in that butt, especially nowadays you have a lot of fabrics that you cannot dry. Lululemon stuff, or athletics, that sort of thing, or in the van, you wanna stay warm, you have real wool blankets. You cannot dry wool. So where are you gonna dry things? You're gonna hang them around, but you gotta put them all away. So what we did is hung this trusty clothesline and basically we just went to Mech and we got this little clippy thing on there and we have the hooks here that are reinforced. They're, they're really strung on there with, um, what do you call them, those special anchor type things. You know you're gonna be somewhere for a while, you can actually string them outside and you can have sun-dried stuff. The other bonus is that this holds a hammock. Band tip, have a place to hang your clothes.